Hey everybody, it's Chris, back with another review for Blue Collar Cicerone. Uh, tonight I'm going to be reviewing a barley wine, the Blood Moon Barley Wine Ale from Joseph James, brewed locally here in Henderson, Nevada. This is part of Triannuary. This is the first time that I will have tried a barley wine out of a bottle. So that's my Triannuary experience for this particular review. I had plenty of barley wines on tap. Uh, this will be the first time I've had one out of a bottle. And I am looking forward to it. Uh, you may or may not know, a blood moon is when four lunar total lunar eclipses occur in a row. I'm assuming this one was made because it does say here on the bottle that this was brewed under a blood moon. So I'm going to guess that was, uh, was sometime in late September of 2015. I want to say the 27th, 28th, uh, somewhere around that time. So I'm guessing that's when it was brewed. There is no brewed on date or enjoy by date. Uh, on this. This is the 22 ounce bottle and uh, just to give you some insight into barley wine um, I did put up a uh, article about barley wine today on the Facebook page and yes that is a shameless ploy to try and get you to go to my Facebook page but just so you have uh, some idea um, color range may range from light amber to medium copper so before we even pour this that's what we're looking for in color and uh, I'm going to give this a shot. This has a 10% 10 ABV, uh, which is typical of barley wines. Barley wines are known for uh, high alcohol content. <sighs> yeah, getting a, a variety of spices and hops on the first aroma. Before I pour, I'm going to pour this into uh, my goblet, my New Belgium goblet that I got a New, Bel New Belgium tasting. Goblet is the preferred uh, drinking glass for a barley wine so let's give this a good vigorous pour and that in fact is coming out a a nice copper light amber to copper color uh, I think it's leaning more towards copper I'm gonna hold that up to the uh, to the screen to the uh, camera and see I don't know I think that's actually doing a pretty good job of showing off the color this is a very robust uh, I'd say khaki colored head and now I'm smelling less of the hops and more of the spices. Um, what I love about a, a barley wine is that barley wine is usually the kind of beer you can chew. And uh, I'm really, uh, I am looking forward to this. I'm a big fan of Joseph James Brewing. Uh, even if they weren't local, I like them a lot. And um, they make great beers. They're, they're really nice guys over there. If you ever get a chance to go over to uh, the Joseph James Brewery in Henderson, if you're ever here in Vegas on vacation or something, by all means, go check them out. They're really good guys. They like to do tours. Oh, wow. That is very complex. It's very caramel and malt and spices and coffee and cloves and just a hint of tangerine. As more this uh, more this has a chance to breathe, I'm actually starting to get sort of a hay uh, smell from the from the head, and the head, as you can see, it's sticking around. It's it's not going anywhere. It's barely shrunk down in this entire time. This is a very resilient head on a high ABV wine. Uh, now, I, as I it's uh, I gotta say, it's like a medium low mouth feel. And the aftertaste, I'm almost, okay, now it's on the aftertaste, I'm getting like uh, like pecans and uh, currants is actually what I would say I'm tasting on the aftertaste. going to just give this a little more pour, swirl it around a little bit more. And by the way, by the way tonight's review is dedicated to uh, Abe Vigoda. We lost uh, a great American actor at the age of 94 today. Abe Vigoda was a... Uh, he was a hell of a character actor. I always liked Abe. I remember watching him from the time I was a kid on Barney Miller, my grandparents' house. And uh, gonna miss you, Abe. This one's for you. Uh, arrivederci, Tessio. Oh, yeah. Now, see, my friend Tony, he's not crazy about barley wines. And this is not the kind of barley wine that's going to bring him over to him, uh, this particular variety. It is, however, 
definitely a barley wine drinker's uh, beer. This is great. This is going to take me all night to drink because it is a, a 22 ouncer. And um, you don't gulp barley wines. But if you want to learn more about barley wines, go to the Blue Collar Cicerone's uh, Facebook page and see the article that I put up this morning about barley wines. And if you want to learn more about Joseph James, by all means, go check out their website. They're really good guys. They actually make a pretty good root beer, too, uh, if you ever get a chance to try that out. And um, for anybody, uh, any of my friends who uh, are up in Washington, Joseph James Henderson Nevada beers are available at Pint Defiance. Um, they're available at... Uh, Edison uh, Edison City Ale House, uh, last I checked anyway, and they are available at um, at uh, Gravity Beer Market in Olympia. So uh, I know you can find uh, Joseph James beers up in the Sound. I'm not entirely certain where in Seattle, but I'm assuming if they're available in Ole and Tax City, they got to be in Seattle as well. So until then, um, this is Chris at the Blue Collar Cicerone. Wishing you good drinking and cheers. Uh, well, I think I forgot to mention earlier that this uh, this particular uh, bottle was um, part of the uh, part of the beers that I picked up at White Cross before they closed. Uh, this one was actually I think I paid five dollars for this bottle, which means that it would have originally been ten dollars. But I only have one bottle left of that. Uh, that's the Big Bad Baptist. And so that review is coming, and uh, I know that was a popular beer. A lot of people liked it. I'm really looking forward to that one. I did kind of save what I hope to be the best for last. And you'll be seeing that review hopefully very soon. But um, this is part of Triannuary, and this is my first barley wine out of a bottle, despite the fact that barley wine is one of my favorite varieties. And uh, I'm really enjoying this one. So uh, I'm going to try to sign off one more time now. Uh, once again, this is Chris, the Blue Collar Cicerone, wishing you good beers and cheers.